Folks, I had a couple of you ask me for some additional help on the second homework problem from uh, last week, uh, to, uh, let's see, module seven. So let me just uh, record a quick two, two, three minutes here, and this should get you going. Uh, so what's going on here is uh, we're shipping some product from some, uh, some, I guess we would call these hubs, Atlanta, Lexington, Milwaukee, Salt Lake, to a number of different cities, 10 or 11 different cities. And what we're told up front is uh, we're given the demand that must be uh, shipped to each of the, whatever it is, 10 or 11 cities down here. Those demand values are here. And then there is a limitation from the supply hubs. For example, Atlanta can only send 40,000 uh, whatever widgets or whatever it is, Lexington 3,500 and so on and so forth. So I think the best thing to do here is, so what I did in order to solve this is I just recreated this table down here and what I did is I took out the dollar values. And what I'm doing is I'm making these values right here. I'm making these my decision variables because the question then becomes, how many units do I ship from Atlanta to Seattle, Atlanta to San Francisco, Atlanta to Las Vegas, and so on and so forth. So this is the given information here, again, with the unit prices and then with the, let me make sure I get the whole thing here. This is also the demands were also given. So that would be the first thing that I would do. And then you can set up your objective function. Uh, obviously that's gonna be the sum product of the unit prices times the number of units shipped from each, again, hub to uh, need city or whatever you wanna call this. So that, that would be uh, the first two things. Then I think that the, uh, the constraints are very simple. You need to constrain this problem such that the number of units shipped to Seattle is equal to 5,000. And then you could, uh, let's see, store demand. You could, uh, you know, maybe here you could say equals the sum of all the units that are shipped from the three hubs, four hubs, I guess I should say. And then just in this row, uh, you know, you can take a demand and you can, <clears throat> excuse me, you can set that up such that you take this and you copy it all the way across. And that way you're summing all the respective columns here. And then you would set a constraint in solver that says uh, the demand values are equal, the store demand values here in this row 30 are equal to the uh, demand values in row 23. And again, these are, these are just going to sum the respective columns. The other issue to address here is uh, making sure that you don't exceed the number of units at each hub. So uh, that would be handled, again, looking at the decision variables, instead of going down the columns, here you're gonna go across the rows. So if I were to take the sum, I think I've already got it in here, sum of B26 through M26, and then I just copy that down, that's gonna give me the sum of each one of these rows. And then the constraint and solver becomes that the amount shipped must be less than or equal to the respective supply values in uh, column O. So I think you can get by with this, uh, again, three, three or four things. I would set up, uh, again, copy this, uh, copy this, the, the, uh, the unit prices down here and then just delete all the prices. Make sure you, in, just as a, as a point here, these are gonna be not unit prices, but units, so this, these cells should be formatted as just numbers, uh, whole value numbers, not dollar values, because they're number of units shipped. <clears throat> and then you'll have to add a couple of, uh, let's see, a couple of formulas here, taking the sum of the columns and then copy that across. And then those values will have to be less than or equal to the demand or store requirement, however you wanna do that. And then uh, just a, let's see, same thing over here. But instead of the uh, cities that are receiving the widgets, it's going to be the uh, the units that are shipped from each uh, hub, and those will have to be less than or equal to the supply. So that that should get you through this. <coughs> Excuse me. Once you solve that, you can get the sensitivity data, and then you can answer the questions. If you, I, as I recall, the value in obviously this needs to be minimized. As I recall. This is about $56,335, if I remember correctly. So if you get something uh, vastly different from that, you've got a mistake there. And uh, just, uh, again, three or four things, as I mentioned here, and you should be in good shape. So I hope this helps.